today I will be showing you how to use Highway Tools on servers such as 99T and 2B2T. Highway Tools is a module which is in two popular clients, Lambda, which is which is what I'm currently using, and Kami Blue. Kami Blue is currently discontinued and not update anymore, so Lambda will have the latest Highway Tools updates. The way to install Highway Tools in Lambda is pretty simple. On older versions, you'd hit Escape. Then instead of open to LAN, there'd be a button that says Lambda. You'll click that, and there'd be a menu that shows plugins. Then you would click Highway Tools, then install. On newer versions, all you need to do is open the GUI, hit Y. And over here, you see plugins. I already have it installed. But you hit download. And over here, there would be one that says Highway Tools. And then you click that. For example, I hit Chat Plus, but if I if there was higher tools, it'd be go over there. Now Chat Plus is on this side. Now once you've installed, Hive Tools is under the miscellaneous category. It's here. A few pages. And I'll show you how to use them now. Alright, so the first one I use Hive Tools, the menu will look something like let me find it. Like this. You have a page, means swap between, and a mode, means swap between highway, which is to build a highway that looks like this. Or if you set it on flat, it will make a flat surface just like this, but without the railings. And if you set it to tunnel, it will create a tunnel where you can customize the width and height of it. Mainly, you'll be using it for making highways. Now the width is how wide it is, counting these side railings here. So for example, if you are on 9B, the standard is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 wide. So if you want to repair on 9B, you'd set the width to 7. But if you're on 2B, then you set it to 6. So I'll bump it up to 7. And the height is um how many blocks it looks for. So if I have it at four, it would be one, two, three, four. So if I were to turn on Hive Tools, I have it set to, I, don't, I think I reset the keybind. If you were to turn it on, wait a little bit, then we'll start to place blocks. But I still need to configure it. So we can turn it off. Next up is clear space. It's to destroy blocks in this tunnel. Like for example, let's say that I put a bunch of ender chests here. If I do not have that clear space option ticked, it would not destroy them and it would get stuck. So you want to have that on. And now corner block, it is if it places a block in here. And this, sometimes you need it if you um, are, want to place these side blocks. Unless you have... Um, another option turned on which allows you to make an illegal placement. Then you can turn on the railing here which is this little bit here. Uh, then you can control the height so you can go all the way up to four blocks but mainly it's usually kept at one. Right, the next page is behavior. So then you can choose your... so first up we have rotation mode which is um how it rotates your player in order to place the blocks. On 9B, you can have it on off. On 2B, I'm not exactly sure because I don't play it. So off, there is um, no head movement at all, server side or client side. Spoof is um, when it's server side interaction, but not uh, client side. And view lock is um where it locks your view to the block where it's trying to place. And, all right, dynamic place delay. So let's say that you're paving and it starts to be unable to place due to lag, it will slow down. Then here we have place and break delay, which is how long in, bet how long in ticks between um, placement and break tasks. Usually you can have it at um, one for both, but if it starts to fail, then you should increase it. Next up is illegal placements, 
says do not use on 2b, tries to interact with illegal services. So let's say that um, I'm trying to place here. And um, if I don't have this corner block turned on, that, and um, I don't have illegal placements turned on, it will be unable to place this railing block. But you want to be able to turn on illegal placements, so it tries to interact with um, this empty block here and place onto this railing. Next up we have bridging. And I'm not really sure what that does, honestly, so I'll skip it. Instant mine. That doesn't work on 9b. I assume it doesn't work on 2b either, so we'll skip it. More packets. Pretty sure this does work. It sends extra packet packets to um, break blocks faster. Next up, shuffle tasks. That is when you have several accounts working on the same thing. The highway tool algorithm for placing. Instead of placing in its set pattern, which it does normally, it will place randomly so that uh, the two accounts or multiple don't try to place all in the same block at the same time. Next up, uh, task timeout. That's when it fails a task, like let's say placing or breaking. It will um, stop for eight ticks and then restart again. And rubber band, that just keeps it from making ghost blocks. That's a rubber band timeout, so I think that's 50 ticks or something. I'm not actually sure. I'm not exactly sure. Then max reach. This is um, how long your um, you can reach. So if this is a bit finicky on 9b, but just play around with it. I think 4.9 is pretty good. Sometimes 5.1 works. Next to multi-break. Um, so an instant breaking block in this case is a uh, netherrack, because I can instantly mine it with no animation. It will attempt to um, instantly break that many blocks in a tick. That's mainly used for um, digging. Hive tools isn't good for digging, so you don't really need it. A limit factor, I don't know what that does. Place deep speed, I don't know. And packet move speed is how, how much your player moves. I recommend just keeping on this default. Now, on to the next page. All right, the next set that we have here is storage man management, which, um. It allows you to manage storage as it says, like what, how to do food, obsidian, all that sort of stuff. So manage storage, you can turn it on or off. Uh, search ender chest, it allows you, allows high tools to search your um, ender chest for these items, like empty shulkers, it uh, checks if there's a shulker on the highway, it just leaves it. Um, grind obsidian, it will uh, take ender chests that you have, like down here, and break them to be used as paving material instead of um, auto obsidian, which is right here. It's all in one module, so you can configure it here. Uh, manage food, it eats for you when you need. Save material, I'm not sure what that does. Save tools, it, um, it, it keeps this much item, this many items. So when there's only one pickaxe left, it disables it. If there's only one ender chest left, it disables it. If there's only one gap left, it disables it. Um, also, you can choose a disable mode to like, do choose what the bot does when once it runs out of materials. Turn on anti-AFK, which you probably just walk around, hit randomly. Log out. It'll log out. Proxy, I'm not sure what that does. And there's nothing, which does nothing. And finally, we have the config page. Um, we can anonymous mode, which you can turn off all coordinates. Sometimes it um these debug messages they pop up in chat if they um fail a task. So you can uh, turn that on to hide all coordinates. Except for um this, if you have this on the HUD, it doesn't do anything. Uh, fake sounds it turns on fake sounds. Show info, it prints the info down there. Show queue, it shows um, a task queue for like placing all that. Next, we have debug messages, which you can turn on. Um, those pop up when you fail a task. You turn it off, all the important ones, which is like unable to place, or all, which is, I think, movement tasks, or you just turn it off for nothing. It's probably good to have it on, on important so you can see um, if a task is failing, what exactly is happening. 
Next up, goal render. It's um the whole blue, excuse me, green box in baritone for a goal. I'll say curve position render, another thing in baritone. And next, um, here we had changed the, uh, let me show you. Oh, while it's going, you can, um, change these little things here. So we see if it's filled, change if it has an outline. And this is pop up when it's moving. So these pop from a little tiny square to a bigger square. So disable render. We can excuse me, debug render, which is, um, we can see these little information blobs about uh, each block placement. Uh, disable warnings, it says dangerous, so I'm not going to do that. Pop. You see these uh, blobs are popping up, that's the uh, pop-up speed. They can do filled alpha to change the um, opacity of them. I'll keep it, mm, say about there. Outline alpha, which changes the opacity of the outline, and the thickness, which changes the thickness of these uh, outline. And that's about it for highway tools. Now this looks awful, so I'm going to change it as soon as I'm done, but yeah, you just look in the direction that you want to go, and wait. And this is just for streets. Later on, I'll show you guys how to do diagonal highways. Alright, so you know how to do straight highways, but now here's how to do diagonals. So first you want to go into the menu and change your width. If you're on 9B, uh, straight width is 7, but diagonals are 11, so you want to change to 11. If you're on 2B, I'm not exactly sure, you'll just have to fiddle around and see what works. Also, for high tools, you probably want to set a keybind. For, for mine, I have I. So whenever I press I, it um, activates it. So what you want to do is get on a block, get to your um, 120, whatever standard height it is, then look uh, diagonally, like with a block, hit, and then hit I, and it will just start placing. Let me change this awful fig here. Alright, so it'll grind some enter chests. Not sure why it's doing them over here. And if you see, if you try to walk over, it won't let you. That's feature high tool, so let's just wait until it finishes up. And I'll actually just get it myself. Time with side tools is a bit weird, so. Yep, get to your block, hit I, and it will start placing. Once it gets to a wall, it'll start destroying or any blockages. There you go, then you just AFK. Um, high tools does get stuck on portals, but I think they're planning to fix that. So always check back in, sometimes you get stuck, especially with auto obsidian. And the feature is still in development, so still in, I think I'm pretty sure it's still in beta, so yeah, just stay tuned, uh, there will be updates. You can find uh, nightly builds on the GitHub. So, yeah, I'll link all those in the description. Um, have fun, highway building.